If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to 71st episode of Learn JMeter series. In this episode, we are going to see how you can leverage IntelliJ IDEA IDE for your Groovy scripting with your JMeter classes. Groovy scripting helps you to extend and implement some of the logic if you need for your business transactions. To embed your Groovy scripting, you need to add JSR223 to your JMeter test plan. But the test plan IDE itself, it's not so great developer experience. For example, it doesn't have autocomplete and it has limited features when it comes to uh, debugging. But you can leverage the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition to improve your productivity and also it has auto completion for the JMeter classes. But not out of the box, but you can still add the relevant jars to your IDEA. Then you can have the auto complete for the JMeter classes. So in this demo, we are going to see how you can make use of IntelliJ IDEA for better productivity. So this is my simple uh, JMeter test plan with the JSR223 sampler and here if you see it has syntax highlighting and it will auto complete the curly braces so those things are there but mainly it lacks in uh, auto completes for the classes and also if you have any methods we want to do the parameters so those things are not available uh, built in and if you want to debug again you need to insert a lot of uh, log.info or println statements to debugging. So again, it's kind of a speed breaker, but you can leverage the idea or Visual Studio Code or whichever editor you would, you'd like to have for your scripting. Definitely uh, you can uh, leverage the uh, JMeter uh, classes. So now I'm going to show you how you can uh, use IntelliJ for your uh, JMeter scripting in Groovy. So just launch IntelliJ and uh, click on new project. So there are a couple of uh, uh, errors or uh, problems you might get and uh, I will also show you how you can uh, solve that uh, eventually. So here whenever you click on a new project so make sure you select a Groovy and select the project SDK uh, 11 or whichever flavor you are going to work and by default it will display the uh, Groovy library uh, no library selected. So before you download the Groovy uh, particular version first you need to go to your JMeter version for example, uh, as of today, the latest version is 5.4.3. So 5.4.3 have the uh, Groovy version here if you can see 3.0.7. So you need to download the exact package. Suppose if you're downloading uh, 4.0 or 3.0.9, then you will have a conflict. So you don't want that conflict. So always download the exact version, whichever JMeter supports. Now you are going to launch just Google and search for 3.0.7 distribution for the Groovy and download the uh, SDK and keep it in your local. That is the first thing you have to do. And once it is downloaded and extracted, go to IntelliJ and click on create. So this will launch the uh, Groovy SDK. So in this case, I have kept it in my uh, tools, C drive uh, tools and if you see Apache Groovy SDK 3.0.7 and select the uh, parent directory and click on OK. So this will add the library 3.0.7 to your IntelliJ project. Now click on next and give some uh, uh, name for your project. Say uh, JMeter uh, in uh, Groovy demo and click on finish. So this will uh, initiate the project and it will scan for the, uh, the libraries and then it will just keep it everything ready. So now you can create the package either you can go for the package or you can just right, directly right click uh, go to new and click on uh, groovy script and give some uh, name say hello world and hit enter so this will create the groovy file in the intellij idea so just to test out what we can do we can just uh, say uh, print ln and hello world and you can just uh, right click and click on run hello world so this might fail. If it is failing, I will show you how you can uh, solve this. So always watch for the bottom right corner where it will uh, display some of the information about the indexing, uh, scanning, 
and uh, synchronizing etc so you need to always watch out for the particular uh, messages so as expected uh, we are getting the internal uh, groovy c error so let us uh, fix this first so go to your file and click on uh, project structure and click on modules so here you have to add the jaxb uh, library here so just click on the plus icon and uh, click on the jars or directories and go to your uh, wherever you downloaded it and extracted the groovy package so in this case i need to go to c and then uh, tools and 3.0.7 and library and just select the uh, jaxb extras so this is the folder you want to select and I click on ok and apply and hit ok so now this will uh, index and once the index is completed just right click again and uh, click on uh, run so now this time it should print the uh, string hello world okay now as you see we are getting the success uh, message so now i'm going to uh, paste uh, some of the uh, jmeter related classes here so this is a very simple uh, snippet uh, for the jmeter which we will be using frequently in our uh, jsr223 ide so here uh, we are line number six we are just printing the uh, jmeter version and line number seven uh, we are just uh, getting the base directory of uh, jmeter so this is one of the frequently used functions uh, whenever you try to implement some logic and if you see here the uh, packages uh, jmeter uh, it is highlighting because we don't have any jmeter related stuffs and also it is throwing the error so to fix this you need to go to again file and project structure and I click on uh, libraries and here you need to add uh, two things one is your the whole library package for your uh, jmeter so in this case i am going with the uh, jmeter 5.4.3 so i have a separate uh, folder so in this uh, folder i have the fresh installation of uh, jmeter so first you have to click on the library and I click on ok so this will add all the jars from the library folder then you need to again uh, click on the plus button and expand and select the extras so extras will have the jmeter core and other protocol related jars and now if you just see we have two different uh, uh, jars one is library uh, and the ext and this will have the 3.0.7 so now if you hit apply and ok so this will start indexing all the uh, jmeter classes and after a moment you can see these errors will go so now you can easily uh, execute this in IntelliJ so whatever you want to use from jmeter you can use it here but uh, if you want to extract for example post processor you are using and getting some response so those things will not come here because that is related to only to jmeter so this will be very helpful if you want to make use of the uh, jmeter classes uh, and uh, by boosting your productivity by having the autocomplete and then uh, debugging etc you can definitely have this so now all the errors has gone and if you right click and click on uh, run hello world it will automatically print the jmeter version and the base directory and the file separator so now as you see in the output we are getting the jmeter version which is 5.4.3 and the base directory and the file separator so this is how you can have the autocomplete for your jmeter classes in intellij so that you can enhance your scripting productivity Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.